Those words, I don't want the faggot on my team, still resonate with me 15 years later. Hi, I'm Thomas Nabs, director of The Waterboy. The Waterboy is a Waikato and Bay of Plenty based charity which works to break down barriers to give New Zealanders opportunities to play sport. We believe that sport is an integral part to optimum personal development and we're working hard toward our vision of making sport an achievable option for every New Zealander. We run a speaker series throughout selected New Zealand secondary schools where we team up with sporting personalities and discuss the issue of homophobia in sport and society. We're trying to create a more inclusive environment where everyone feels welcome participating in sport and other personal development activities. Did you know that 71% of LGBT youth feel unwelcome participating in sport because of their developing sexuality? And 78% of us Kiwis have witnessed homophobia in sport. Every time you use one of those sentences, you're making it harder for someone to be honest about who they are. The comments you hear around school and on the sports field and stuff, like my perception of society was that it wasn't accepted. I think when I was at school, if there was someone that had come and talked to us who I'd really looked up to, that would have made a big difference to my perception growing up. Maybe I would have been happier about who I am from an earlier age. I'm definitely guilty of saying those slurs in the past, but I'm aware now that my words can affect others. I challenge anyone to pull me up on that if they hear me saying those slurs because I know that language is not okay. There are three main objectives of our presentation. One, comfort through normality those who are learning that they are on the rainbow spectrum. Sexuality does not define me. Yes, I'm gay, but that's not who I am. Two, make heterosexual students more aware of how their language and actions can affect the lives of others. The LGBTQA community, especially our queer youth, have the highest suicide rates in New Zealand. That's a statistic that is created by homophobia. You guys are the generation that can make a change. I think it's an important issue to address uh, for many reasons, and one of the big ones is the mental health statistics within society today isn't the greatest. The suicide rate is pretty horrible in New Zealand at the moment, so if we can save a couple of those, it'd be pretty awesome. Three. Ensure students are aware of support services that they can utilise if they wish to speak about their sexuality or gender. Education Review, they're looking for all aspects of Hauru when it comes to health. So all the mental and emotional stuff, the spiritual stuff, the values, and sexuality is a massive part of that. These presentations are always well received by students and teachers and are assisting in bringing this issue to light for all. It was a big inspiration for the people that needed a little bit of push. Always good to consider other people and be mindful of the things you're saying around in the community. It might, might be hurtful to someone else. The little things that we say can affect people and the homophobic terms and gay or you're gay and like we just say it and we won't realise what we're actually saying and how it can affect a lot of people around us. A presentation on diversity and especially diversity in sports, I think it just starts to break down some of those walls, especially in rural communities. All kids are looking towards their own identity and who they are, that's a, a natural thing and sometimes they need a little bit of support to ask the right questions. So today I gave them some of the questions they could ask but also most importantly it got their friends thinking, how do I support my, my mates? If society was a lot more inclusive and accepting, not just people on the rainbow spectrum, but all, all people, we'd just have a much happier New Zealand. The Waterboy. Stronger people, stronger communities.